you can share to me is uh, any experience to how do you think about the US? Well, um, I think region we have to think differently. Yeah. You know, region is not just biostimulators. So if you ask me about, you know, either we can use needle. Yes, you can. Yeah. You can use needle if you want to take it more superficial. Yeah. And also, you can go deeper because Vigilant has more um, or greater effect in terms of vitamin power. So it can help to regenerate the fat, uh, regenerate over retinacular cutis in the layer number two, which at the layer number two, you have a fried bus septum. And with the fried bus septum, you can um, definitely use Vigilant to perforate or strengthen the fried bus septum. But in the layer number two, you also have fat cells. So uh, on the fat cell, regimen can um, stimulate uh, the pre-adipose cell. So you get pre-adipose, pre-adipocyte um, stimulation. So you get pre-adipocyte proliferation. And from my study, it's not only proliferate the adipocyte, but it also can differentiate into adipocyte cells. So basically, you um, proliferate pre-adipocyte and then pre-adipocyte can uh, differentiate into adipocyte cell or the fat cell. Yeah, yeah. So basically, you can um, you can um, regenerate yeah. the layer number two, which is the fat cell and retinacular cutis, and uh, uh, um, and also the SMAS. We know the SMAS layer. You have also fibers. Um, structures, not only the muscles. So basically, you can also um, um, help to reju rejuvenate on the SMAS layer. And under the SMAS, we have the bone. Right? Under the SMAS, we have a deep, sub deep subcutaneous layer. Definitely, it can also help to regenerate the deep uh, fat layer. And also, at the, at the bone, with the PDRN um, mechanism of action, it helps to uh, stimulate the osteoblast, but for our PN, we need a study. But but we believe that because of similarity between the molecular structure of the PDRN and PN, so it should work the same thing. So um, that's why with the new concept of uh, reconstruct the soft tissue, you can actually inject deep into the bone and inject you know, to each layer to target all the aging of the whole layer of the skin of the tissue. So basically you can inject superficial and also you can inject deep. You can inject even in between yeah. or even very, very superficial if yeah. you want to target uh, you know, in the epidermis. Yeah. So basically I think the, um, the technique that you choose to inject it would depend on the result that you want. It depends on the outcome that you want. Yeah. But basically, we can do a sandwich, you know, going deeper, going superficial, and doing the same area with the different technique. And the last question, I want to know, yeah, you combine the uh, AB energy or the uh, medical device, uh, maybe high food, maybe uh, um, um, uh, Thoma or the microwaving and, and, and you will come by it? Definitely. Definitely, it's, it's very helpful. You have to think regionally of the technology and material that will give you regionality power. Yeah. You have to think differently. Yeah. Don't think regionally like filler. Yeah. So you think about regionally as, you know, a... Uh, uh, a, a tool that you can make better regenerations. So when we injure the cells, either by laser, energy-based device, or whatever injury that you cause on the skin, and then you use Regeneran to help the cells to repair them better. So you think about think of Regeneran as the regenerative powerhouse for you. Then you know what to do. Okay, you yeah. have to think differently. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we use the uh, urine after uh, use, use the, yeah. You can use before yeah. or you can use after. Yeah. So when you use before, you like you prime the skin. So yeah. it's get ready. It's like you kick off the skin, wake up, 
yeah. break up yeah. all yeah. the skin. Yeah. Like you, you, if you pamper the skin, yeah. you you get the skin ready. Yeah. You know to start to regenerate. Yeah. So you can either do pram yeah. before. Yeah. You can do like you know monthly for a couple of times, yeah. and then you do your own you know energy base or lasers, and then you can continue doing it again. Yeah. You know you have to, as I mentioning, you have to think of Regionland as a regenerative workhorse that you have in your practice. Yeah. You can do before, you can do after. It doesn't yeah. matter yeah. because as long as you want the tissue or skin to regenerate, then you use Regionland. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you.